Hi everyone and welcome to How Our Garden Grows. Today we're going to take a look at seed starting any member of the brassica or cabbage family. And I've got this one seed cell here. You notice my station is pretty darn dirty. Uh, I've got a lot of different scraps of um, this sort of seed starting medium. So if you are going to start inside, I always like to stress, I've stressed many times, make sure that you have a nice uh, older towel that you don't really care about anymore as much that you can shake outside you can get dirty um, you don't want this stuff going all the way throughout your house so it's very very simple uh, most of the seeds nearly all of them look very similar they're small beaded type seeds these are a little bit bigger than some of the varieties out there some of them are smaller but they all kind of resemble these smaller type beads they all look very similar and your brassicas are going to fall in the family of obviously cabbages, um, but you also get broccoli, cauliflower, collards, kohlrabi, uh, any of those sort of vegetable greens, even mustard greens are in that same kind of family and will have similar looking seeds. So one thing that's great about that is I can use this one. This is the variety I'm sowing right now called the asparabrock. It's a special hybrid variety that sends out lots and lots of shoots. And we, it's become a favorite around here because it's really hard for us to consistently come up with broccoli heads, really nice big broccoli heads in the climate that we live in. So, uh, but it follows kind of the same growth patterns. So it's pretty easy to grow here. So how I start, and this is how I do it. Some will put them on the surface and then kind of press them in, but I just do a very shallow couple of holes per cell. And so we're basically doing quarter of an inch deep here. So I'm gonna kind of set these down here so I can pick them up. And we're essentially going to just place one seed in each hole. And the reason I do two for each is what if one doesn't germinate, then you're Kind of losing a cell you can always uh, even in these small cells you can always divide your plants into two plants if you catch them early enough or you can always thin them out to one plant um, if two were to germinate in the same cell so it's just as simple as that you're going to cover up seeds. Again, you don't have to overdo it. You can pretty much barely cover. A quarter of an inch is not that much. I mean, it's it's very, very tiny. So make sure when you're doing this that you're not over burying your seeds. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I think people sometimes overcomplicate how deep you need to sow your seeds. They're going to try to sprout regardless. Um, it's just some seeds will require more light to germinate than others and they won't be able to sense that sort of light if you bury them way too deep. So that's pretty much it. Um, and we should be able to see these. A lot of the cabbage varieties will germinate within three to seven days. So they come up really, really fast depending on the variety. So some take maybe a little bit longer, but that's pretty much it for sowing any type of cabbage variety. And uh, if you like my videos, Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and check out our other YouTube videos. Thanks again for watching.